In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to translate text in BuddyBoss app. For some of you, you may be translating the app from English into another language. If your app will remain in English, you may just want to change specific text instances to fit better within the context of your app. If you are planning to translate your app into a right-to-left language, such as Hebrew or Arabic, note that I have another video all about RTL languages that I recommend watching. It's important that you understand that text in the app can come from different places. Some text is coming from data from the content within your WordPress site. For example, it could be coming from content created by your users. For example, the names of these members, or if I go to the newsfeed, the content within these activity posts, while other text is actually part of the app interface. For example, let's tap on more, and then we'll open settings. For all of these menus, this text is stored in the app and is part of the app interface. This is the type of text that we will be translating. From within the WordPress admin, we've made it easy for you to modify all of this text and then sync those changes back into the app. For this video, we'll be modifying this text for email preferences and for login information from the WordPress admin. Let's head into the WordPress admin so we can see how it works. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app translations. Note that this interface is not used for modifying the text from the BuddyBoss app plugin, such as this text up here or this text here. This plugin text is controlled through WordPress language files, just like any other WordPress plugin. This interface is specifically for modifying text found in the actual app. In this table, we can see a list of the text contained within the app. On the left column, we can see the source text. This is the default text found in the app. Below each item, we can also find the source text ID. This is a unique identifier used in the app to associate the source text and its translation with the specific place in the app where it will be displayed. And then in the right column, we can add our translations. So let's search for the text email preferences. You can see that we are currently searching within the source text. We could also search by source text ID if we wanted to and find our result. Now let's go ahead and translate this text into another language. I'm gonna come over here to Google Translate and we'll translate it into Spanish. And we can copy our translation and we'll come back in here and paste it and we'll click Save Changes. And note that now we could also search by translation if we wanted to. Next, we're going to translate the text for login information. But for this one, I'll show you how to do it from a CSV. We can actually download all of this text at once from a CSV, edit it from our computer, and then upload the CSV back to WordPress. This could be really useful if you need to collaborate with other people for translating text without them needing direct access to your WordPress admin. So let's start by clicking on Download CSV. So here's our downloaded file. We could open the CSV with Microsoft Excel, Apple Numbers, or Google Docs, or really any application that is capable of editing spreadsheets and CSV files. I'm going to pause and upload it to my Google Drive account. I expect a lot of you might do the same, so you can invite others to collaborate on it. So here we are in Google Sheets. When editing this file, do not ever delete the content in these first two columns for source text ID and source text. These two columns on the left are just for reference. And also do not ever delete this first row with the column titles. Doing this could prevent our system from interpreting the file correctly. We need all of this information to correctly map your translations to the source text. You should really only be adding or removing text from within this translation column. I'm gonna search for email preferences. We can see our translation from before is in the file. And now let's search for login information. So we can see that we have two results, so we'll go ahead and just edit both of them. I'm gonna copy login information and we'll find our Spanish translation. Here it is. And so we're going to add a translation for this first result. The source text ID gives us some indication that this is probably the one because it's referencing settings. But let's go ahead and edit it here as well. Okay, so now we're ready to download this file from Google so that we can upload it again at WordPress. So we'll come over here and click on File, Download, and we're going to download as a CSV. When we're in here, you do not want to download it as an Excel file. It has to be a CSV. So if you're using Microsoft Excel or Apple Numbers, it's going to save it in its native format. You will need to export the file from there as a CSV 
once you're done editing it. Okay, let's come back to the WordPress admin now. And then we can click here to upload our CSV. This is our edited file. Let's see if that worked. And we can see our translations have been imported. With that, we're done. Let's go back to the app now so we can view the changes. First, we'll need to hard quit the app. And let's come back to our settings screen. And now we can see that both of our translations are displaying properly in our app. And that's it. I hope you find this feature useful as you customize the text in your own BuddyBoss app.